What's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. I am here with Anita. Apparently, Anita is one of my students that I did not even know about. So I don't know. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Anita? Yeah. So my name is Anita. I'm from uh, Montreal, Canada, and uh, been running uh, Etsy shop for like the past two, almost three years now. Thanks to uh, thanks to Rich here. That's awesome. So you about to cross over seven figures in sales this year, and you've only been doing this for about Two, I guess two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So, <laughs> what? All right. So, before I get into it, what were you doing before you got into, you know, this whole Etsy space? Uh, well, I actually run the shop with uh, my boyfriend, who's the mm -hmm. business partner as well. So, I was a uh, graphic design student and okay. he was a level designer working for uh, Activision for Call of Duty. Oh, wow. That's so, cool. Yeah. So he was doing that full time and I was at school full time. And um, he's the one who pretty much found, I mean, credit goes to him for, for finding you. He was uh, messing around on YouTube and stuff and found uh, something about like Etsy uh, selling like wall decals. Okay. And then um, I think in the recommended you popped up and uh, he found you from there so uh the algorithm did its uh <laughs> did its job that's crazy because i started off with stickers before i got into t-shirts actually see was that like your first introduction to etsy like you you haven't even sold anything yet pretty much i've never been on etsy before so it was like all like brand brand new wow so are y'all doing this full time is he still working at activision uh no after a couple of months or so it actually popped off the shop popped off like really really well and we're like you know what i think i think we can manage just you know the side hustle becomes the main the main hustle so he quit his job and after not long after i quit school so i didn't finish my my degree or anything and we're full time on it ever ever since well you probably saved some money because i went to school for graphic design and uh you know it, it wasn't a, a I don't know. I still have my degree on use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Degrees are, are, can, can get pretty pricey. <laughs> are you guys doing print on demand or are you guys uh, making the products yourself? Uh, well, we started off with print on demand, mm -hmm. kind of see, uh, kind of get like some data on like the, the designs, if they're selling well and everything. And after we kind of, you know, got all our information, we managed to get all the equipment and, we're fulfilling everything ourselves. So I think maybe the first like three months it was just print on demand. And then we switched to just doing everything ourselves. That's crazy. <laughs> so um, what process are y'all using? What, what? Uh, like what process are y'all using? Are y'all using heat transfers? Are y'all doing DTG? Uh, it's a mix of vinyl and uh, heat transfers. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you are able to do a million dollars over there. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky. <laughs> so um, whenever you found out about selling on Etsy, like, did you get straight into, I know y'all are in my program, but did y'all get straight into that? Or did y'all just like did more research first? Uh, well, we fully, we fully, first we watched like almost all your videos that you had on, <laughs> on uh, YouTube. And from there we were like, you know, this guy seems pretty, he seems legit. <laughs> yeah, he has a good vibe. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's buy the class. And I was there with my notebook taking up, like, literally, like, notes, like it's an actual class. And uh, really the focus was with the class. And then any extra information that we would need, let's say we would hit a wall or something that wasn't, mm -hmm. I mean, everything was pretty much covered. But us being in Canada, we didn't necessarily have the same uh, right distributors like, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So that was a little bit our struggle. So a bit of research here and there, but um, nothing that can't be found on the internet these days. <laughs> That's crazy. So um, do you find like most of your sales being in Canada, or there's still like customers from the U.S.? It's 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 mainly Canada. I would say as of right now, it's like a solid like seventy percent Canadian, thirty percent American. Wow. So there's enough market in just Canada alone. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> That's great. So, so what was the most difficult thing about starting? Like you, you were in school, he was, he had his full-time job and mm -hmm. then, you know, you guys had a decision to find a side hustle and, 
you know, just kind of balancing that? Did like it just take off immediately? Like, what was that like starting off? Uh, starting off, the main struggle in a way was kind of learning Etsy also, because mm -hmm. we were both never on it. So it's just kind of learn uh, the platform. So that's why your course kind of helped because you really guided like step by step there. So that was like, that was actually a really helpful for us. Um, it kind of, uh, it kind of, it was slow start. And then as soon as, I don't know, like, I guess maybe we were close to like the holidays. Christmas time is like a big, a big time. And it kind right. of just kind of skyrocketed a bit there and it just kind right. of stayed in, in that, that level. <laughs> that just gave you enough confidence to like, this is it. Yeah, pretty much. Or like, yeah, Christmas is actually a really, really big time for everyone. So we're like, okay, so we know that <laughs> holidays is, is profitable enough. <laughs> Man, so how are you guys able to stay consistent now? Like fast forwarding back to today, like how are you guys like day in, day out now? Um, honestly, not wanting to work a nine to five job. <laughs> <laughs> like I know now it's pretty much like a twenty four seven kind of thing, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, kind of running after the orders in some way. So that kind of helps to stay consistent. Too, the orders are coming in. You kind of have to do kind of have to uh, fulfill them. Mm -hmm. But really, I think the big motivator is just really being like our own bosses, just kind of set up the schedule that we want and really just focus on that. I'd say that's the, that's the, I anyway, know that's my motivation to stay as consistent as we are. That's awesome. So from, you know, two and a half years then till now, like how, how has life changed? Like, has it been better just because you guys got your own, you know, business now or like, mm -hmm. how is it now? I would say better just because, like I said, we're our own boss. So we don't uh, have to take, uh, you know, crap from <laughs> from the guy upstairs or anything. So uh, I would say it's better because of that. I mean, it's 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 different going from that a nine to five or just focusing on school and then have to try to get that degree and then have to go post for like, you know, job interviews and stuff like that is just like, that is not like, that's not an option anymore. And interviews stress me out. So like, I'm glad that right. I don't have to go through that. <laughs> now you got like a skill set you can depend on. There you go. Yeah. All right. So, you know, just close it off. Like you got any last piece of advice to anybody else who's starting off or, you know, want to be like where you are? Um, buy your course, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in all honesty, don't skip a step. Like, um, I think a lot of people can get uh, like kind of sidetracked and look too much at the big, not look at the big picture and not say anything else, but really just the small steps and just to, you know, start with something, focus on that and just really don't skip a step because that's really going to, I mean, for me, that's what made the, the difference, really just test things out, see how it goes. And then that worked out well. So then, all right, on to the, on to the next and just don't give up if it's a, if it's a slow start, everybody kind of starts with a slow start, I believe. So mm -hmm. I think it's just to not give up and just trust the process. Mm. I love that. It sounds like you accepted the fact that there is a process. A lot well, of yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, at the beginning, since, you know, he, you know, my uh, boyfriend had like the, you know, I was at school, it wasn't so bad, but for him who had like, you know, kind of a pretty cool job in a way. Yeah. So it was kind of uh, really to be like, okay, well, I'm letting this go so I can 100% focus on this thing that we've been on it for I think maybe at that time was like six seven months so uh so it was like a took like a big leap of faith and it it luckily paid off happily paid off that's awesome shout outs to your boyfriend for just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out, big shout outs to him <laughs> I love that all right so thank you guys for watching make sure you check out the program I got uh, a new coaching program coming out soon so I'll post a link down to that below and Anita appreciate you for joining today We'll catch you guys next time.